Hello my lovelies. Welcome to Doll's Dreamy World. Today we are going to continue with a practice for creating a beautiful Zen and so. And as I have told you before, our practice is just to be present in the moment and enjoy the process that we are in this creation. So let's begin. As you all know, I always like to start with fire. So we will just light this candle. You see, I'm just trying to be present. So I'm trying to be present with the touch to this candle holder, observing the light, uh, observing the light, the flame that is in the candle and the sounds. So we are bringing our awareness entirely to the present moment from all our senses. I've got my beautiful cacao drink as well. And I have this flower today. It's, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what we call this. Maybe barley or something. <laughs> but a very miniature version of that. Let's see how it sounds. has a beautiful uh, soft and tough and rough texture at the same time and it's kind of dry it's very dry here I keep it as it is. I have this canvas roll. So let's just cut a piece of sheet that we might need for today's painting. we go we have a nice fresh sheet of canvas roll cool. I'm using oil paint for this and I'm using a cadmium yellow color Usually I draw oil paints and colorful ensos. Uh, in traditional Japanese, 
practice they usually use ink for this but we can use any brush and uh, any kind of paint we want we can even use crayons if we have crayons or just create some uh, beautiful enso circles on the sand in nearby the oceans just with a stick or anything so there are no limits <laughs> the possibilities are, are endless of creating a zen enso And so also represents the state of the mind, our current state of the mind when we are in the uh, process of creating it. So it's, it just uh, reflects, uh, reflects us back what is our state of mind in the present moment. And usually you draw it in one breath and it is just done once and you don't have to interrupt it later on it cannot be once it is created it, it is created you cannot destroy it later on so that is that are some of the rules i guess so let's start i'm just just gonna do some breathing and then when i feel love feel like painting then i'm gonna paint <laughs> Take a deep breath. That's it. The color looks so beautiful. You see, it looks so fresh and vibrant. I love the color. I noticed that I always start from this end and I start very calmly nowadays. It's like, it's a very smooth impression from start. And then as the brush moves on, the color and stuff, it creates certain nice brush patterns. And here I notice my hand, again, it did a slight difference and changed the brush movement altogether and then created the rest of the circle. It's, um, it's very weird. I've done a similar painting. I think it was with orange color. And this is... A bright cadmium yellow and both of them almost have the same pattern kind of almost kind of the same pattern I started here then at similar at this angle the brush movement kind of slightly differed and I continued with the rest of the circle and I finished at least I finished close to the circle it is not half empty so it finished close to the circle it looks really nice, very wonderful. Hmm. Love the color. <laughs> it's really I don't know how it like how does it look in YouTube, but the fresh energy of the painting is felt when it is face to face. Okay, we are done. Thank you so much for tuning in. And now I wish you a very nice evening 
or night. Have sweet, sweeter and sweetest dreams. Bye.